All right, guys, so it is October 1st, 2021, and I just got home from work. We got sent home because of the snow. So winter's here. We got to do some more winter prep. It's hard because when you work and you're busy doing all this other stuff, full-time job and uh, finishing moving and building the cabin, you can't really spend much time on the stuff that you need to do it's just you're being pulled in too many different directions so that's kind of where we're at now is you know there's so much to do and I have so much energy to do it it's finding the time and kind of like splitting everything up and prioritizing stuff so anyways it's beautiful out it was a good drive home so <clears throat> winter's here guys up in uh, the north of Alaska it's uh, coming to a town near you. Hi. Thanks. Hey! Can you turn it off? There you go. Now I can hear you. That's the quickest I've ever gotten down the hill. Congratulations! Hey! There you go. <laughs> Thanks, honey. You're welcome. Hey guys! So we're just up here on part of our trap line that Chad's been uh, widening up and Cutting some of the branches out of the way so it don't get smacked in the face on the way up or down the trail. Um, he did quite a bit of work. As you can tell, we have the Argo tracks up and down here. We've been slowly compacting the trail a little bit. But um, yeah, it's nice and wide. And we took some of the is it the marking marking ribbon and yep. set up some... We looked at some spots that we might want to put some traps down that we've seen some fresh tracks here and there. and. Yep, good thing with uh, fresh snow is we can come out here and check the activity and see what kind of animals, fur bears we got running through and where. So what I've been doing is uh, coming up and down here with the Argo. Right now the Argo's down. we got to do a little bit of maintenance on it and repair. But it's a nice wetter snow than what we usually get. So when we pack it down, we get a good base layer down. That's good for the sleds. It's nice and a uh, hard-packed sub-layer. Um, so yeah, every every area where we have a, a spot of high activity of foot traffic on some animals, we just put a ribbon up and that gives me an idea of where their game trails are or where they're hanging out. Kind of gives us an idea where we're going to set up our traps and what kind of traps. So um, yeah, <clears throat> what's today? Oh, what is today's Monday. Uh, Monday the 4th. Yeah. Yep. But we get to have fun and get a little greasy with the Argo when we go back down to the cabin. I actually was uh, supposed to go to work today, and we just noticed that the, the Argo's down. So um, that's quite a walk down to the pullout to get back to our trucks. So right now our only means of transportation until we have enough snow for the, the snow machines is using that Argo. And uh, we can't use it right now, so... We walked up to make a phone call at one of the only spots that we have maybe just like two bars, just enough service to make a call and a text to uh, let my boss know that I can't come in today. And that's a quite a long walk. And um, coming back late in the evening, I'd probably be walking back up in the dark. So it's really not a smart idea. Um, things are just really tricky at this time of year when you're going through this transition from fall to winter and uh you know there's there's just a lot going on you're finishing firewood clearing trap lines trying to get prepared for winter and it comes real fast without warning it's just like a light switch right babe yeah. just like one day it's green and you know then the next day it's yellow and then it's white the third day it's <laughs> white so um it's been snowing steadily for about three or four days we haven't like got too much accumulation, but as you can tell, it's it's here. Oh boy! So 
just show you some some clearing we've done this is our trail uh, that we've kind of cuts through our property and it hasn't been used in a very long time it is a public trail but um, it hasn't been maintained and nobody's used it so it's kind of just it outgrew itself and it just kind of withered away so I had to come through and as you can tell there's still lots of little sticks and twigs everywhere but I spent the whole day over the weekend um, cutting brush back and here's another thing too you want to hold this real quick uh, I'll I'll kind of explain it over here so as we go down though there's some areas where um, you want to encourage uh, animals to go through a certain spot so this is just you know I'm, I'm learning as I go too. this is my first year trapping you know so we've done a lot of research and talked to a lot of people and I don't feel like I'm going into this blindly but um, my thought is when you're clearing your trail um, there you have open holes where you can see a line of sight which is usually kind of like a, a trail you know it's a it's a game trail I don't want to block the game trails off so when I cut all the brush in the thicker areas um, and I throw my brush off to the side I kind of block in more of the thicker spots so I'm making the open areas more open and the tight thick brushy areas more thick brushy so like I, I'll take all the sticks and small trees and twigs and everything that I clear up and I'll shove them in an area to make a thick area even thicker so it makes it more difficult for animals to go through that way so as you go up your trail you'll have a nice hole in an area where you can put some traps and that's usually an area where they'll travel through if you come down here I'll show you uh, an example of, of uh, kind of like if you think of it in terms of corralling cattle you're just basically deterring them from going through one area and kind of opening an area up to kind of um, uh, not a lot you're you're coaxing them coaxing them along in a certain natural area that they would normally go so <clears throat> got tamales sausages baked beans Beautiful. It's actually 34 outside and 78 in here. That's warm.